Okay. Hello everybody and welcome to our next kids talk. Today I've got Tamika helping me because we're going to play a bit of a game and so I needed another person in my video. Uh, today we don't have any egg reveals uh, because Easter day has happened but we are still in the period of Easter where Jesus reveals himself to his um, friends and disciples and people as the risen Jesus. So today we're going to play a game which people, people have played before and sometimes it's called Two Truths and a Lie or um, Wait, True yeah. and False. Wait, I only and... needed one lie? No, you need two. Oh, so, because we're going to play two rounds. So I'm going to get her to choose two of her true facts and one of her facts that sounds true but isn't true and is false. And I'm going to see if I can figure out which ones are true and which ones are false. Okay, ready, Tamika? <laughs> Go. These are really these Read are, out your facts. Um, really stupid, but um, some goats and sheep have rectangular pupils. Pupils. Yeah, like so. It's, we have circles, but they have rectangles. Oh, goats and sheep big. have rectangular pupils. Okay. That one does not sound true. <laughs> Pandas have four toes. Pandas have four toes. Well, that sounds like it could be true. That one could be true. Okay, go. Last one. No. Rodent's teeth never stop growing. Oh, okay. I know that one's true. Mm -hmm. That one I know is true. That's, so That's a true. So rodent's teeth do never stop growing. So... S rectangular pupils or four toes? Okay, I'm going to go with um, pandas have four toes must be true. And therefore, rectangular pupils are false. Did I get it right? Well, I see here, I don't actually know if pandas have four toes. I think that one's not true. But no, some goats and sheep actually do have rectangular pupils. No way. Goats and sheep yeah, have rectangular pupils. sideways. Who would have thought? That is a crazy fact. Now, do you have two more true facts for me and one more to yeah, play I another need to round? Come up with four. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to oh, pause shit. it there to play one more round. All right. We're back, and Tamika's chosen three new facts. Two uh -huh. will be true, and one will be false. And she's warning me that these are hard ones to guess. Okay. Go, mix. Elephants use their trunks as snuffles when they swim. Oh, that sounds perfectly reasonable. Okay. I'm going to say that that's true. Cola and tomato sauce will once sell this medication. <laughs> well, I think I have heard that cola was, but I'm not sure about tomato sauce. I'm going to call that one false. Everyone has their own, everyone has their own smell. Some people are worse than others. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that one's true too. So true on the snorkel and the smell, false on the cola and tomato sauce. How did I do? Incorrect. What? Identical twins have the same smell. <gasps> of course. I didn't think about that. Okay. And Coca-Cola and tomato sauce were medication for and that's disgusting. That is pretty disgusting. I wonder if they mixed it together in one thing to make it. Anyway, boys and girls, the reason we played our game today is because we decide whether things are true or not true based on things that we already know. So, for example, I chose that um, elephants do use a snorkel their trunks as a snorkel because I already know what a snorkel is used for and I already know that the trunk looks about the right shape to be a snorkel and so I could use my knowledge to um, work that one out but the one where the, we were talking about the rectangular shape eyeballs or pupils for the Go goats and sheep all the knowledge that I have is um, from let's say you know um, humans or dogs or cats or at the very worst maybe snakes which have slit shaped pupils so my knowledge that I had told me that that 
had to be false, even though it turned out to be true. Now, in our Bible story today, we meet one of Jesus' disciples called Thomas. And Thomas is told that Jesus has risen from the dead. And he cannot believe it. He believes that it is a false fact because he hasn't had any experience and he doesn't understand that that could have happened. So all his knowledge in the world tells him that Jesus had died and that he would then stay dead. And so Jesus shows himself to Thomas and he says to Thomas, here, put your fingers in the palm of my hands where you saw the nails go in. <coughs> and so Thomas actually puts his fingers in the palm of Jesus's hand and he realizes that it's true and that Jesus has risen from the dead. So he uses, Jesus helps him to understand that he's risen from the dead by using knowledge and facts that Thomas has. Now, unfortunately, poor Thomas gets a description called Doubting Thomas all the time. We often talk about him as Doubting Thomas because of what happened. But in fact, the reality is we probably all doubt um, those kinds of things sometimes. But the Bible actually tells us that we who have not seen Jesus risen, but yet believe that Jesus has risen because we've read it in the Bible, we are blessed because we believe without having seen. So our lesson for today is that Jesus recognizes how hard it is for us to believe that he has risen, but that as Christians, we are blessed because that is indeed what we believe, that Jesus has risen. All right, let's say a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you that we can gather online like this. Lord, I just pray that we will all be able to believe things even when we don't see them. And Lord, that we will also be able to see evidence of you having, being alive and being with us in our day-to-day -day lives and recognize it as evidence of your love for us. Amen. All right. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a great week.